Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. It's that boy G playing. Don't give a damn. He cooler than the fan. Walking real tall. Some say he's man. I don't know what was going on, man. You some tension right now, man. What's poppin', bro? Man, you know, just thugging, man. You know, we out here chilling at the compound. Straight up. You know the fuck going on, man. DSD one home base. Yeah, yeah, south side. Yeah. Man, for the people, for the people who don't know, you know what I'm saying. Fill them in on Young Ruler. I mean, Young Ruler, man, from the H Town, Southwest A.L.E., Texas, man. Just putting it down out here in these streets. I got features with everybody from YFN, Lucci, the Rich Homie, Quan, and Tech, man, everybody, man. I fuck around with the streets, all the street niggas. That's what I'm out there, you know what I'm saying, linking up with when I hit the other cities, you feel me? That's that's all. You from the South Side? Yeah, I'm right. Like, I, I, and like I'm, I'm out of town. I'm from Louisiana. Like, when they say north side, south side, what's really the difference between the north side and the south side for people who don't know? Well, you got the north side of town, which is Slim Thug, Paw Wall, Mike Jones, and you got the south side, you know, which is Kiki, DJ School, and SUC, you know what I'm saying? So that's what I go up on, SUC School up quick, you feel me? How long you been in the game? Um. Sears right now, I've been in the game about five, six years, just Sears. I've been rapping forever and been around it forever, but just taking it Sears about five, six years now. Yeah, it's, it's a dirty game, too. Hell yeah, <laughs> hell yeah, so look, I want to ask you this, man. The, the, the current scope of, of Houston rap, you know what I'm saying? How did you feel about, you know what I'm saying, everybody making their moves right now? How did you feel about the music scene in your city right now? I mean, it's lovely. It's turned up right now. All the young niggas working together. Everybody buzzing right now. We got a bunch of hot niggas coming up right now. Got the city on fire. My nigga Fast Lane got the dog ass booming. Yeah. Nigga Young Al. I mean, everybody just doing their thing, man. Just booming, just pumping. So, like I say, just putting it down, you feel me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, when I pulled up, I saw you with Blood Bell. You know what I'm saying? And I, and I, and I give you your TV. You know what I'm saying? Like, what's y'all what's y'all relationship like? Cause y'all be the y'all be family, man. BB, yeah. man. We been we came up together, grinding together. You know how that goes, South Side, baby. We holding it down. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, we stay in the studio late night, putting that work in. Man. So where we at now? Oh, we on the south right here, DSD one uh, compound. We on this whole motherfucking block. You yeah. feel me? We got the fucking t-shirt shop, the boutique, mechanic shop, the studio, all that shit. You feel me? We just out here. Young black entrepreneurs, you feel me? Oh, I'm glad you I'm glad you said that man, because right now, you know what I'm saying, it's all about ownership. Like I just got to watching the black youngster video earlier and he was just talking about how he owned his stuff. Oh yeah, you, know you gotta so, own it. Hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. We don't own it, you lease it, man. We own all our shit, all our rights, own our majority, we own all our cars. We ain't out here pretending like these niggas foo fooing out here. Uh -huh. Shit shot. And yo, and, and speaking of that, like, I um, I do um, like, I saw, I saw you with um, I saw you with T Glock too. Oh yeah, I saw Glock. You with T oh yeah, Glock, that's my boy, man. Him and Dog, they're real solid niggas, man. They'll be out here this Sunday. Yeah. Don't fuck around, you know. Yeah. Tell him what might pop out. You straight feel? up, straight up. And now we, this is Thursday night in Houston, Texas. Yeah, we just thugging, like, man. What, what, what goes on on a regular night, a Thursday night in Houston, Texas? Where we need to go, you know? I mean, right now, on a Thursday, I don't really club. It's my grinding day. I'm getting ready for the weekend, so I don't really club on Thursdays. I'm in the trap or in the studio getting it in, you know what I'm saying? But Friday, oh, we're going to hit the city and turn up at that Guild Friday. Yeah. Feel me, engine room, turn up. Fuck around my nigga corner done. You know what I'm saying? Bitch be booming. Yeah. Yeah, shit show. And then like you said you were on uh, DSD one? Oh yeah, down since day one. For yeah. for the people who don't know like who who who's involved, who's all involved with that? Oh man, sh stunner bound. Uh, young Lee. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, young ruler. You know what I'm saying? Lil J. Got a whole squad, but you know a lot of people come up under the umbrella that's not signed to the camp, but we just a home base for a lot of motherfuckers when niggas come, you know what I'm saying, get they chill on, uh, enjoy around some real players, you feel me? Yeah, for sure. And I want to ask you this too, man, like, Houston is a very, like, cultural place. Hey, who else? Everybody all over the world, sip and serve. I'm, I'm going to say somewhat taking y'all style, like, how do you feel about that? I'm having to notice that. I wouldn't say that they're taking our style because I feel like, man, 
every time been done once, it been done twice. Like you can't say who invented sipping, because my aunties and grandmas and all of them was sipping. Mm -hmm. So I mean, it just was a different form or a different way that they done it. Now putting it in the soda and sipping it, we did invent that. We is the the ones who invented that. But I wouldn't say that they still in our swag because shit, we got shit that we do like them. Like it's it's just it's the way of the world. It's just it's called a revolvation. Like that's what go on in the world. Game and stuff is passed on to people. Don't worry about who invented it or who done it. Like not me. Yeah, yeah. No. I see you on that too. And like. Like, do you have like any advice for anybody who's trying to get into this stuff, man? Because some some of these guys, wherever they're from, the streets or whatever, all walks of life, and they get in this game and they just think it's just, hey, we go bring the street mentality in, and I and, and I'm in it, and I see it's like a lot of entertainment stuff going on too, but they don't know how to differentiate the two. Do you have any advice for anybody who's trying to jump in this game? Not don't have no direction. You gotta get in this game, you can't get in it with your feelings, my nigga, because then you'll be like, if you come in the game, in this rap game with the street mentality, and you're gonna be looking to, to get at somebody every day. Like, that's how it was my first two years. I'm trying to beat up engineers, producers, all these niggas fucking over me, video men and shit. And at the same time, you just gotta realize in this rap game, it's strictly business. And I like the street where you can build a black shit off of loyalty or your heart, like you feel like, man, I didn't fuck with this nigga, I didn't spend with this nigga forever. It ain't like that, so you just gotta come in the game knowing that, like, you can't be in your feelings. You gotta just take it for what it is and run with it. And everybody not gonna be on the same shit you on, you know? So that's why I just do me. I try not to take nothing personal, just keep everything business unless it's somebody I really just fuck with. Yeah, and like, and like, like do you have, like, any advice? Like, no, not, I'm sorry, not in there, I'm sorry. If, if, if someone, if someone wanted, like, to work with you, get in touch with you, hey, look, hey, I saw your ruler interview, I like his energy, whatever, how can they go about that? I mean, see, to be honest with you, I got managers and shit, bro. Yeah. I, I mean, they be mad at me, I don't buy by the rules, but I fuck with all the young upcoming niggas, like, like, I don't like, I don't be trying to just go, like, I could, like, anytime somebody come to the city, they come fuck with us, but I don't be worried about doing the song with my, when I go to the cities, I want to know who the young niggas out here making noise, like, the niggas hit my DM, like, like, you get any young nigga that hit my DM or tell you, like, I respond to him and fuck with him, you know what I'm saying, whether I do a song with him or give him some advice or, you know what I'm saying, show him some direction, like, I just like fucking with the young upcoming niggas, you know what I'm saying? You can't sleep on nobody, you never know who that next nigga is, you know what I'm saying? Stay up. Take off, so stay you gotta up. stay nine and fuck around. They're going, people going viral instantly. Yeah. Oh yeah, you know, for the people, like, do you have any upcoming projects on the way, visuals that you can know about? You know what I'm saying? I got like six mistakes about to come out. Wow. <laughs> At the end of 18 or beginning of 19? At the end of 18, I got it. Uh, Counting me out, that's my project, gonna be dropping any day now. Uh, me and Lil Jeremy got Percocet music dropping any day now. Y'all check my bro Lil Jeremy out hard coming out the city. He on tour with Lil Baby right now. Uh, me and Tick got a project coming out called Rulu. Uh, me and Lil J got a project coming out called Lovers and Friends. Like, I mean, I just been working trying to get it in, you know what I'm saying? So like I say, we got a bunch of unreleased music coming out at the end of this year. Straight up.